Okay, and hello everybody. And welcome to Ise City in Mie Prefecture. And we are at uh, one of the Ise Shrines. And this is called Geku. In English, that would be Outer Shrine. So there are two shrines here. There's the Outer Shrine and the Inner Shrine. So we are crossing this bridge now. And uh, this is kind of like a river that separates the shrine from the city. And uh, that's in case there's a fire. Anything uh, that's dangerous coming this way, this uh, river would stop that. And of course, here in the middle of the bridge, you can see there's a dividing area in the middle. And it's uh, the middle. We're not supposed to walk in the middle because that's where the gods mm -hmm. uh, enter and exit the shrine. So anyway, we'll walk on the left to go in and go out and it'll be a little bit different at um, at the inner shrine okay yeah so you can see we are here and uh, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna go up here to uh, Shogu here and uh, yeah So we're going to purify our hands and of course normally they have a ladle but with the coronavirus That's good. <laughs> And so uh, this is what they do. Uh, before you enter a shrine, you always purify your hands. And so here, you can see the barrels of uh, Japanese sake. And again, this is uh, kind of given as an offering. This looks like it's the same company? Mm -hmm. Hakutaka. Hakutaka. Ah, okay, yeah. And that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times five mm. is what? <laughs> that's a lot of barrels. Okay, okay so uh, just to... Uh, give you some information this is the most sacred shrine in all of Japan so this is the biggest shrine of course there are two shrines here this is the outer and we're gonna go to the inner so I guess the inner would be uh, the biggest and the best but uh, it's the tradition that you visit the outer shrine first and then after that you uh, you visit the inner shrine and of course it's very important to show your deepest respect when you come here to Issei Shrine. So anyway, you can see it's really a deep forest here. Very green. It's a little chilly today. I think it's about 48 degrees Fahrenheit. About 11, 10, 11 degrees Celsius on a uh, Sunday afternoon. It's pretty overcast. So anyway, uh, we're going to walk inside the shrine and uh, some places I can't film, mm -hmm. but uh, if I see something interesting and it's okay to film, I certainly will. So uh, anyway, we can see one more twenty gate here. So we're going to go inside right there. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so we came inside the, uh, the shrine here and... Uh, that area in the distance, uh, it's strictly no photography allowed. So uh, I'm going to show you what I can. But uh, this shrine, both the inner shrine and the outer shrine are taken apart and completely uh, created or built from scratch every 20 years. It's the exact same shrine and it's kind of the idea of the process of uh, renewal. Um, so. Uh, kind of hitting the reset button and starting all over again. And so here, this would be the site of the next construction of this shrine. And that'll be in the year 2033. 
So I guess back in uh, 2013, uh, this shrine was put together. So um, yeah, every 20 years they take it apart and they use new wood, new materials to build it all the way from the beginning uh, back again. And another thing is uh, the structure, the design. It's called chigi in Japanese, but it's the style. You can see uh, how the roof kind of juts out at the top, the way it's cut. And uh, yeah, katsuogi, right? Yeah. So you can see it's just a very natural place. And these really big cedar trees. They're massive. And so this shrine here that we're about to go to, it enshrines the deity of uh, Toyo Uke. And Toyo Uke provides food for Amaterasu. And Amaterasu is maybe the most important uh, spirit in Shinto. And Amaterasu is the sun goddess. And so this goes back, uh, I think this shrine was built uh, 1500 years ago for the first time. And it's been built and rebuilt for 20 years, every 20 years for the past 1500 years. And so uh, this is the shrine dedicated. Um, it enshrines the deity of uh, Toyo Uke, who provides food. And uh, he is also the, the deity of food, clothing, and shelter in general for everybody. So it's a very important shrine here. Yeah, so anyway, this is where I have to stop filming and uh, we're gonna go inside the shrine and then uh, I will film a little bit more later. Okay, see you. Okay, so we are here, again, still inside the, uh, the Geku, the outer shrine. And there are three auxiliary shrines over here. So that first one that I just showed you was uh, Kazenomiya, which is for the, the god of wind. Mm -hmm. And then straight ahead, you can see this is uh, Tsuchinomiya, which is for the god of land. And then over there, if you go up those stairs, and go up to the top of there. It's uh, Takanomiya, which is for the spirit of Toyo Uke. And again, uh, he provides the food for Amaterasu. So anyway, this is just kind of a look inside uh, the outer shrine. Again, it's got uh, about 1500 years of history. It's rebuilt every 20 years. And uh, we also think that these shrines here, these auxiliary shrines are probably also um, rebuilt every 20 years. We think so because there's this land next to it. And so another uh, point to make is that uh, these shrines, the architectural style, they have zero influence from the Asian mainland, from China or Korea. So this is 100% pure uh, Japanese style of Shinto architecture. So Anyway, again, you can see we are here in this deep forest with these really big cedar trees. And uh, so there's a museum that we're about to go into. It's called the Sengukan. And uh, it's going to explain the architecture of these shrines and how they're taken down and rebuilt and all of that. So actually, this is our third time to come here to uh, Ise Shrine. And we've never been to this uh, museum. So we're going to take a look inside there. And uh, we'll see if we can learn 
a little bit more about these shrines. So anyway, we'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so here we are at the Sangu Khan, and it's a museum uh, dedicated to the construction and architecture of uh, these Issei shrines. And uh, there was no English available throughout the entire museum, which is extremely rare, especially in Japan, but there was no English. So <clears throat> it was 300 yen to go in, about $3. Uh, if you don't speak Japanese, I don't know if it's worth it, but it's definitely a really good museum if you do speak Japanese. The building itself, the museum, is very modern. I think it was built in 2012. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the most recent um, Ise Shrine was built. So, uh, yeah. But uh, if you go in, of course, there are a lot of pictures and videos. So you can still kind of learn a lot, even without uh, reading Japanese. And then there's this pond out here, just kind of like a landscape. Uh, where anybody can enjoy. You don't have to pay for this view that we see right now. So uh, anyway, um, I learned a lot, uh, but uh, yeah, this is a museum where you can come and learn a little bit about the Issei shrines. Okay, see you later.